Okay guys, here we are, and today I'm going to share with you the 1968, it's actually a GMC 1500, but it's been converted over into a C10 as you can see here. The front end has the Chevy C10 front end on it, and around here we can see the C10 badges. So to let you guys know a little story behind this truck, it's actually been sitting in a barn for about 14 years now. And it actually belonged to my wife's brother who passed away quite a while ago. And it's just been sitting. So we were actually able to obtain it here a few months ago. And this is a video from when we first brought it home. We pulled it into the garage and I went ahead and took some footage. It didn't record the audio, but uh, this is the first footage of me going around and just kind of looking at everything so I could show you guys. So uh, he actually purchased this truck right out of high school and kept on to it. And until he was in his mid 30s and then after that it, it sat so it's, it hasn't uh, been crunk up and ran for quite a while uh, we've just cleaned it up at this point now as you can see the pictures in the intro it's, uh, it's been sitting in there just dirty for a while so uh, we'll go ahead and pop the hood and uh, show you what we got under here Okay, so the only thing that I've touched under the hood so far, I took off the, it has a B&M air filter cover for the top. Uh, I just went ahead and took it off so I can inspect everything really good. It's uh, actually a, out of a 1973 Bel Air. This is a, a 350, a two bolt main, only had 125 horsepower back uh back then. You can see it's got a Holley 750 on it. It's got a Whalen uh, intake and it's got a HEI distributor. It's got some headers and you can see the uh, one wire alternator there. It just needs a lot of love and care. There's the uh, radiator, the radiator cooling fan does not work and then uh, you can see right here attached to the fender that's uh, the air compressor uh, it has airbags on the rear uh, because this is the GMC 1500 I'll look here you can see the wires to the radiator fan were all burnt up there's all the uh, all the air lines they're all chewed up. But, uh, yeah, because this is a uh, GMC, it, uh, ha it has the leaf springs set up in the back rather than the uh, coil springs and the trailing arms. Right there, we've uh, got the overflow for the radiator. And we've got a uh, transmission cooler that's been added on. So yeah, this uh, uh, it's going to need a lot of love and care. So if you look here, uh, the gas filler used to be right here. Then it had a gas tank behind the seat, which was uh, already been removed. And you can see a little stress there in the bondo. So we're gonna we're gonna fix all that. Come on back here to the back. I'll show you. The tank uh, was out of a Chevy Blazer. This is a pretty popular thing that everybody would do. And then the uh, filler cap was back here on the back. So uh, the cap wasn't actually on when we got it. And you can just tell it's really bad in there. So one of the first things uh, I did... Uh, that you can look forward to in a future video. Uh, I took the bed off 
and just started from the fuel tank. I uh, already knew after not seeing a fuel cap on there that it was going to be bad. So by the time I took the, the fuel neck off and got into the fuel tank, it really was bad. It was all rusted out really good. So that was the first thing we did. Uh, I took the bed off and we just started uh, restoration. Everything from the cab back. Frame, brakes, uh, brake lines. Here's the uh, B&M air filter. Guys, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, I've looked on uh, eBay to try to find one of these or find out which one it was. And I, they're pretty rare. Uh, you can't really find them. And if you do find them, uh, you see them used for about 380 bucks. So uh, I'm going to clean this up. We're going to keep this. We're going to keep the 350. Uh, I've already done a compression test on it, and it checked out really well. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, instead of doing a conventional LS swap, we're just going to we're going to keep it old school. We're going to keep the uh, 350 in it and build this thing up. Uh, as of right now, I've already got uh, some Vortec heads for it and stuff. So you can look forward to that in a future video. We'll check the inside out. This uh, this one actually had uh, original AC in it at one time that's been removed. The steering column, you can see uh, it's got the original steering column with new steering wheel and stuff on it, which uh, you look for one of my future videos. Again, uh, I put a brand new chrome steering column in here from Summit Racing. You can see it's got the B&M shifter, ratchet style shifter down on the bottom. It's got custom gauges put in it. It's got a brand new dash pad. So uh, the steering column I put in there just because these racing style uh, slap shifters down there, you got to take two hands off the steering wheel to grab it and put it in reverse. It's a little, little bit of a headache, so I've already yanked it out. We kept the grenade. And I put a uh, the column shift on up on the column. And I'll have a video for that showing you guys how we did that too. You can see down here on the door, the door is out of uh, alignment there. Uh, we're going to be working on that too. And we got a couple little rust spots. You can tell uh, tell it's been worked on there a little bit, but uh, came back through. This thing's got the old uh, center lines. You can't really find them anymore. I looked those up. People were selling them for $2,800 used on eBay. So uh, I'm going to polish and clean them up, and we're going to keep them on there. It's got the smallers in the back. They're 15s. But it's got the smaller wheels on the back. And then it's got the bigger meat crabbers. I'm sorry, smaller in the front. It's got the big meat grabbers in the back. We're going to throw some Mickey Thompsons on there. Here you can see uh, you can see it's got the airbags. You can see it's got the leaf springs. It's got some Flowmasters. Everything back here has all been completely restored. Um, you can check those out in our future videos. As well as the uh, rear disc uh, conversion. I uh, did uh, the Willwood conversion kit on it and ran new brake lines. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that now, and uh, you can follow me. I've already released uh, the video on our installation of the Boyd fuel tank. If you haven't seen it, check it out. That's really cool. And, uh, yeah, make sure you like my video. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, this week, I'm gonna start uh, putting out more videos on this one, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna fully restore this thing. So it's gonna be a lot of fun.